Hey, it's Mark Linder with your video thought for the day. This is Thanksgiving week, and I have a lot to be thankful about. One of the things I'm thankful about is this delightful woman at our church. Her name's Carol. And Carol gave me this book, Lessons from a Sheepdog. She's evidently buying all of these copies and just giving them away like candy. It's an amazing book by Philip Keller. You may also know him as, uh, I think he wrote A Shepherd Looks at the 23rd Psalm. Well, all right, I've read the book, and I have learned that sheepdogs are really great in a variety of ways that teach us lessons about God and teach us lessons about ourselves and teach us lessons about how to work in this world for a better world. So here's what I've done. I've taken that and I've brought out Tizzy, my own little sheepdog, because I'm going to take lessons. This is you, Tizzy. Yes, it is. I don't think a border collie has anything on a Havanese when it comes to working sheep. So here's what we've got. We've got the book. We've got the sheep doggy doggy doggy. And we've got the sheep. What do you think, Tizzy? You see, one of the lessons here is the importance of how a well-trained dog is able to work as an under-shepherd. In other words, God is the great shepherd. You know, the psalm, the 23rd Psalm, which Pastor Jarrett preached on yesterday, by the way, you ought to go listen to his sermon. It's really, really good. But Pastor Jarrett was talking about that psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. And it says, uh, even though I walk through the dark valley, I will fear no evil because you're with me. I mean, who can be afraid when you've got the shepherd? Now, here's the deal. God's our shepherd, but who does God have on planet earth working for him? He's got you and me. So Philip calls that, Philip Keller calls that an under shepherd. And he talks about how his dog is his under shepherd that will listen to his commands and do what he says and help him take care of the sheep. We can be that for God. As we pull into Thanksgiving week, we can be people who through our gratitude to God and through the way we treat other people, we can help be God's under shepherds to see that people are, don't, are that their needs are being met, that, that their fears are being dissolved. We can be the, the mouth, the voice, the feet, the hands of God in the lives of so many people. Now, I've got Tizzy here as my under shepherd, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to go after these sheep, and we're going to corral these sheep because my under shepherd, the book has taught me how to do this. So, are you ready, Tizzy? Are you ready? We're going to go get the sheep. Go get them, Tizzy. Go get the sheep. Go. Go. Sometimes hand motions make a difference. They learn like left and right. Watch. Tizzy, go. Tizzy, tizzy. Okay, I guess the moral to this story is we need to do a better job at being the under shepherd of God. We need to learn to hear his voice and do what he says. So this is a week of Thanksgiving videos from me to you, but I hope during this week of videos, you will work on me, work with me, at doing a little better listening to the voice of God and learning how we can be under shepherds to help take care of the flock. This is Mark Lanier, and that's your video thought for the day. See you tomorrow.